Now to that breaking news in the Liberty County Jail. I'm Lauren Freeman. And I'm Keith Garvin. And for a bill, as we first reported at 4 o'clock, Kenneth Ray Thornhill committed suicide after he was found guilty on charges of delivering and manufacturing a controlled substance. Channel 2 investigator Bill Spencer just arrived at the courthouse and is joining us live now with what he's learned about this story. Bill? Keith and Lauren, just five days before his birthday, 48 year old Kenneth Ray Thornhill took the only thing he could think of his blue cotton dress shirt, tied it into a makeshift noose, and hung himself inside his holding cell right here at the Liberty County, uh, Liberty County Courthouse. He was right outside the courtroom where he had just been convicted of possession of a controlled substance with intent to deliver. This was his third felony drug conviction. He was placed into that cell about 11.30 this morning. Uh, he had asked to speak to his lawyer. He was told he could do that about 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock was the time he was set to be sentenced. Everybody left this guy alone. They went out to lunch. This man was alone in that jail cell. And when they returned, he was dead inside his cell. Well, he took off his dress blue shirt and uh, knotted one end around a jail cell bar and the other one around his neck. Uh, about six foot off the ground and then just bent his knees and uh, went down and asphyxiated himself apparently. Have you ever seen somebody hang themselves with a shirt before? Well, of course, uh, I'm retired from the Houston Police Department after about 30 years and over the years, of course, inmates do this. Uh, they do commit suicide. The Liberty County Sheriff's Department says that they followed all of the normal uh, procedures that they followed. They took this man's belt away from him. They would have taken his shoelaces, except he was wearing cowboy boots. Uh, this case is under investigation by the Texas Rangers right now. One more interesting detail. Uh, Thornhill's girlfriend testified in court today. She was supposed to testify against her boyfriend. Instead, she told the jurors that that illegal substance was actually hers. She was trying to take the blame for him. She uh, was charged with perjury, and she now is in the Liberty County Jail uh, awaiting charges against herself. Reporting live in Liberty County, Bill Spencer, KPRC, Channel 2 News.